guys, it's Applement. Welcome back again to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing something themed around Genshin Impact. And if you guys don't know what that is, that is a game that came out late last year. It's a free-to-play MMORPG, and it pretty much took the gaming world by storm at that time. Um, it also has gacha mechanics in it, which also, if you don't know, is kind of like the gaming uh, anime version of gambling in a way. Um, so I'm not going to go too into that, but yeah, I, I think most of you guys know this game or at least have heard of it. And when it came out, I got pretty obsessed with it as well. Um, I played it like every day, nonstop. And so today I wanted to draw some of my favorite Genshin characters and I've been meaning to do this for a little while but never really had the time to do this video so that's why I wanted to take some time to make these characters and I wanted to draw them in chibi styles today because I don't really do this style very often. I usually use it when I do either enamel pins or I do keychains which I haven't created any new keychains in a little while since I haven't been able to do conventions due to COVID and all of that so now with things getting, you know, opening back up again and convention starting up again, I wanted to make some Genshin things and so I'm hoping to turn these into potential keychains or something of the sort one day that I can take with me to conventions so it all works out. <laughs> so the first one I'm drawing is Klee. And when she came out, I pretty much freaked out. I saved up a ton in-game and all my wishes and all that for her. And I ended up getting pretty lucky. I got her within the wishes that I had saved up. So I didn't have to spend money. Not that I would, per se. Um, I have my whole stance on gambling in gacha games and how predatory it is. But I'm not going to go into that too much. I will say I used to play Love Live pretty heavily years ago, um, which is a rhythm game, and I was also pretty obsessed with that. And I played that for like two or three years, um, pretty much not nonstop, but like I would play a little bit every day for two to three years. And I went through a phase where I got so into it that I actually did end up spending money on the gotchas. And the gotcha mechanics in these kinds of games are crazy because or not mechanics, I should say the gacha prices in these kinds of games are crazy because they'll usually charge you anywhere between $20 and $30 for like 10 tries at getting a character you want. And the, the chances of getting the character you want are typically like 1%, 2%. It's, it's really, and it's not even guaranteed that you'll get them. If you hit that 1% or 2% of getting a rare character, it's not even gar guaranteed to be the one you want. It could just be any of the it could be anything from a pool of rare characters basically so yeah it's it's not really the best to do it if you have fun doing it i mean i'm not gonna tell you not to but i i spent a bit on love live years ago and i regretted it because i didn't get anything from anything that i spent it just made me sad so try to go through genshin impact not spending money on gotchas i think i purchased like the welcome pack once and that was pretty much it so um yeah i i'm having a lot of fun with this game and so I find that whenever new characters come out, it's really exciting, but I end up keeping the same characters on my team all the time. And I don't know if I'm sure some of you guys do this. Oh yeah, there's Klee. She's done. <laughs> I really like how she came out. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure some of you guys do this where, you know, you are excited to get a bunch of characters, but then you can only have a certain amount on your team at the same time. Um, so in Genshin it's four and it's just like I don't know I get really stressed out because I want to have them all on my team at the same time But then I have people that I really like and that I've leveled up a lot So my team typically consists of Klee, Sucrose uh, I usually have Fischl on my team and then my like fourth slot will be kind of the one where I'll switch people out here and there Like I don't really mind who's there right now. I have Diona just because I like the ice and the healing but I, I sometimes have Kaya, I sometimes have, you know, a different, any any element that's not already on my party. So, <laughs> yeah, but, but Klee and Sucrose are my two favorite characters, which is why I'm drawing them first in this video. Okay. 
I really, really wanted to make, especially sucrose. I wanted to draw her a long time ago, and I drew, I drew something, and I did not like it. So I'm not going to show you, <laughs> but I'm just going to say I wasn't. I just didn't like the artwork where it was going, so I scrapped it. And that was the last time I drew a character from this game, because I just didn't have the time to or the desire. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to do these cute little chibis, so it's kind of working out that I'm doing them now. So, I mean, I would love to hear in the comments below, when, whenever, you know, <laughs> while you're watching the video or after the video, what your favorite Genshin Impact characters are, if you, want, if you play the game, um, how into it you are, you know, tell me a little bit, but, but tell me your favorite character. I'm not gonna judge you, but, but we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I would really love to make these into keychains. Like I said, I haven't done any type of acrylic merchandise in a long time. Um, and like I said, it's because of COVID, because when COVID hit, conventions pretty much all stopped. I don't know of any convention that was really running during COVID. I know of like a few small ones that were like up in the air toward the later end of COVID. I mean, COVID's obviously not over. You know, it's a, it's a virus, it won't completely go away, but at least, you know, a lot of people are vaccinated and things are starting to get a bit better now. So that's what I mean when I say the end of COVID. Um, but yeah, a lot of conventions are starting to open back up again for this next year in late 2021 and then in 2022. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know how many of you guys have ever been to an anime convention, but they're a whole lot of fun, first of all. You meet a lot of people with similar interests, people who love video games and anime and just artwork and a lot of things, cosplay. It's always a really fun time. Um, oh, and, and this is my sucrose finished. <laughs> um, sorry, I keep pausing uh, what I'm saying, but yes, she's done and I really like the way she came out. I think she's my favorite of the batch of these three characters that I drew today. But yeah, conventions are a great place, and so I really miss conventions for, you know, just the sense of community and, like, just meeting people and seeing, you know, all the, like, I love shopping at conventions, like going to the dealer's room in the artist alley, I love shopping and buying things, so I really miss that aspect of it, but I also really miss selling at conventions. I haven't sold at one since I think it was late 2019 and then I had some in 2020 that were supposed to happen but then obviously we couldn't do conventions in 2020 or anything in 2020 so those got rolled over to this year which then got moved again to next year so I'm just kind of waiting for certain conventions to do them over and over uh, but they'll, they'll get there eventually next year I'm, I'm pretty hopeful that they'll happen and so yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back into the scene and making more stuff and doing more artwork for everything. I mentioned to you guys in my previous video that this is a very busy summer for me, but once the summer is over and I'm back into my main swing of things and everything, I, I hope to make a lot more artwork and finished pieces, and so I'd love to share that with you guys on the channel. Hope you don't mind my rambling about this. I figured it was a fitting topic since I'm doing chibi art <laughs> for, like, for keychains, so I figured I would discuss some of that. Um, and also for this one that I'm doing, this is Kaya. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain for the Knights of Favonius. Who is, I, I think, one of the best characters in the game. I know some other people will disagree with me, but I don't care. I really like Kaya, and he's better than D. Luke, and I don't care what you say, but, um, I had some trouble with like his pose at first, not, not necessarily his pose, I guess more like his details, like his hair, I couldn't figure out where to put it, then his, like, I mean the, the ponytail is part of it, like I first had it really close to his body and then I moved it away because it just wasn't working, and then I kept moving his head around a lot, like the angle of his head, because it, when you draw chibis, the head is typically very big and the body is small. And so sometimes for me, it's hard to tell like where the head should land on the body to not look like it's crooked or something because I don't draw in this style all the time. So sometimes I have to kind of readjust to how things should look and pull back from it. But I eventually was able to get down a, like his final line art and I was happy with it. 
And so then it just comes down to color picking. Um, I just like to color pick from the original artworks, unless I'm doing something with lighting and things like that, which obviously I'm not for these. These are more simplified. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the way he came out and all of these really, I, I had a lot of fun doing them. And I hope you enjoyed watching me do them. And if you want to see more Genshin characters, I would love to make more. Like I said, I need to make more things for conventions that are upcoming. So if you want to see more of these, let me know. And definitely, if you do, suggest the characters you want me to do in the comments below, because there's so many characters now. So please tell me who your favorites are and who you'd like to see. But anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. And as always, I have all of my links in the description box below, the link to my online store, my Patreon pin club, my Discord server, and my Instagram is all there. So go check that out. And I will see you guys all next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time as always. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.